everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time watching me, welcome. This is my most recent haul from L3's January pre-order. Um, I know that the extras went up on sale yesterday and I didn't get this video filmed in time to review my purchases before, but maybe there's one or two in here that you grab that you haven't smelled yet and these scents will come back hopefully uh, before Jen closes. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, L3 is owned by Jennifer Westing from Junction City, Oregon, and I'm sure all of you know if you're watching this video, Jen has chosen to close her business in the middle of September uh, with the hopes of it reopening sometime in the future. She has said she can't imagine not having wax in her life, so uh, let's just hope for the best that one day if the cards, you know, play right and everything in the universe works her way, she'll be able to open up again in the future. But until then, let's give her all the love and enjoy her wonderful wax. Um, I have been a customer of L3 for three years. And if you know me, you know I have quite a few L3 haul videos and review videos on my channel. This actually is my 300th video. I cannot believe it. How fitting. L3 300th video. <laughs> Just thought of that. So um, L3 has been one of my top vendors, it's hard because I have so many up there at the top that are all just neck and neck. But like I said, I have had, I have purchased just about every ready to ship and every pre-order that Jen has offered in the past three years. Just about every one of them. Um, I have quite an extensive L3 collection. I'm pretty well versed, in my opinion, of a lot of these scents. And I just, I love talking about L3. Jen is such an amazing woman and kind, generous. Customer service is top notch, if not the best that's out there. She wants to make us happy and she just does everything she can to go above and beyond. Trish is an amazing woman too. And she does the bath and body portion of um, her company's Belux, which is also closing permanently. Trish is not going to reopen in the future. Um, but like I said, let's go ahead and get into some of these. I've got some really good ones, some repeat purchases of mine, some new ones to me, and some, um, I don't even remember everything I purchased actually. So let's go ahead and get in. Um, happy Saturday. I'm supposed to be at a basketball game right now, but we have had quite the winter weather roll in this evening. My husband it's the tail end of college basketball season and only a couple of games left and he was not going to miss it. So he went to the game by himself tonight, which is okay. Sometimes, you know, I need to do, I needed to do some housework. I wanted to do this video. It just worked out that way. And sometimes driving in the snow when it's really coming down outside isn't the best for my mental health. So I made a mental health decision and I stayed home, even though I'm missing out on my Grand Canyon ice cream that they have at the games. But next Saturday... It's the last game of the season, so I'll go to that. So, enough about me. Let's get into the wax, shall we? Okay, each invoice, um, I ordered two separate orders from this pre-order. And each in, each order comes with an invoice. Sometimes she has a note up at the top, um, thank you. You know, all this stuff. Uh, uh, sometimes, depending on who packs my order, I get little notes from Jen and Trish on here. But, um, you know, I, I have to say, you know, um, having the opportunity to be a moderator for L3 has been so much fun in my life and I've enjoyed connecting with all of you and answering questions and helping and doing whatever I can to, to, um, make a little bit, your wax purchases a little bit easier. So, uh, I will miss that part of it, but I will always cherish the friendships that we've made and hopefully we'll have for the coming, you know, foreseeable future. Okay. I, of course, got a mix of things. I have a hotel sampler. Yes, I bought a hotel sampler. Those of you that know me know I love my resort scents. Um, and hopefully these are going to be coming back. I would, I, I think they might, if I had to make an educated guess. I'm going to find out for sure if they'll come back. But I'm going to talk about that last. Um, I got a mixture. And here's my little um, sample bag, which I talk about last. There's some candy in here, but I'm going to, um, I got scoops, uh, Bitty Betty loaves, two packs of tarts, and some trick tarts. So I'm just going to grab and go. First one here is a favorite of a lot of you out there. This is Dreamweaver. 
Dream Weaver. Beautiful color. I love purple. Dream Weaver. This is a lavender blend, and it's a fantastic lavender blend. I've had it in hard wax like this. I have it in scoopable. I've had it in, um, what else does she offer? Um, not scoopable, not uh, the, the shape. I've had it in the, uh, the bougie bars. I've had it in the matrix melts. I've had Dream Weaver in just about every form that she offers. Dream Weaver is lavender cream, sugar cookie dough, and bread. And lavender cream, it's a single oil. And I don't remember, honestly, all of the components of lavender cream. It's, it's lavender mixed with something, but it's a fantastic lavender. To my nose, this lavender is right in the middle of her sweet lavender and her fresh lavender. And I actually, I did request for this pre-order, how, how Jen takes requests that... Um, what she should offer in her next pre-order. I actually requested fresh lavender and sweet lavender in Trig Tarts, and she chose to pour those because then you can really see what does her sweet lavender smell like? What does her herbal lavender smell like? So then you know which one you want in your home and which one you want to blend with something. And to me, smelling them, they are just a little bit different. They're not too much different. This one to me is it's sweetened up of course with the sugar cookie dough and the bread but this smells more of a of a mix between the sweet and the fresh lavender but this is so comforting it performs beautifully it's a fantastic nighttime blend when you don't want to quite give up your bakery but you don't want to let go of that lavender blend i really like this one this is a favorite of jen too we've talked about this one this is dream weaver let me turn my light down one i turn it down before I hit play, but it seems to be a little bright. This next one is, these oils are not new to me, but I have not had them in this configuration before. This is Strawberry Pound Cake, Rainstorm, and Leaves. Strawberry Pound Cake blended with fresh is surprisingly fantastic. One of my favorite Strawberry Pound Cake blends is Strawberry Pound Cake Pacific Woods. In fact, I need to request that one to come back one more time, at least, I hope. Uh, that's a really good fresh blend with a little bit of strawberry to it. So this one here, let's see what this one smells like. I'm not getting too much Strawberry Pound Cake. The integrity is with that rainstorm. Rainstorm is such a clean, fresh, relaxing, fantastic springtime scent. And leaves, of course, is the Bath and Body Work leaves. I'm getting a little bit of the richness from the leaves. And the strawberry pound cake is getting lost in there. But when this warms up, I'm sure a little bit of that cakiness will come out. But this is this is a nice, fresh blend. If you're looking for a fresh blend, as in different blend or new to you blend, this one is probably one of those. The next two pack I got is Coffin Cake. I actually have this in a scoopable. This was back in her, uh, in the Halloween time. I think this was a blend that was in the Halloween advent. Um, this is Butter Pecan shortbread, caramel drizzle, marshmallows, and sugar cookie royale. This is good for those of you that love a nice, rich caramel cake. This is right up your alley, coffin cake. Um, I haven't melted this yet. I have, I have a lot of scoops. If, you, if you've watched my videos for L3, or at least caught some of them, or even see some of my requests on the page, I usually 99% of the time request in scoops because scoops work so well in my home. And I know some of you don't really particularly care for scoops, but to me, I find that the shelf life is much, much longer than some of these harder wax forms in my home. You just take a little, a little bit of a scoop out. You don't need a ton of scoop because it really packs the, the fragrance. The fragrance load is higher in scoops than this formula right here. So it's able to give more of a fragrance payoff with a smaller amount and, you know, just configure it how much you're going to need in your in your warmer some of its trial and error if you're new to scoops but i love scoops because i can get at least a dozen times out of a scoop if not more depending on the strength of the oils um, that's just my experience in my home and my warmers and depends on how much in love with the scent i am i can't get enough and i use it quicker you know like we all are but coffin cake this is heavy on the butter pecan and caramel this is good this kind of 
Reminds me of a caramel sundae from Dairy Queen or so, somewhere with just a little bit of sweetness from a cookie. But this is definitely more of a cake to me, not so much a cookie. Next, this is a tried and true favorite. I think I've had this about a hundred times. Can always smell this and fall in love with it every single time. This is Wild Berry Mousse Zucchini Bread. So, wild berry mousse is one of my favorite oils. Jen has a really fantastic oil, if I must say so, um, compared to some of the other vendors I've tried. Her raspberry mousse is just rich and hits the spot. Blended with her zucchini bread, I mean, I could melt this every day and not get tired of it. I love this blend. Uh, lots of requests for wild berry blends, I see, in the group. And this next one is Slay Queen. I think this one was in the Christmas Advent. Uh, this is banana nutmeg bread, bread pudding, banana crepes, vanilla smoothie, and bananas foster. Another, look at that gorgeous purple color. I love that. It matches the, it matches the uh, bandana that she has under her turban and my nails too. Wow, look at that. This is, this is a good blend. I melted, I purchased the Advent calendar and I didn't do a review video for the calendar because the time I got around to filming it was almost at the end of January. And even though I do make notes on the blends that I melt, so when I do my review videos, these are accurate for you, even though I might have melted, melted something several weeks ago. Um, I didn't, I just, I didn't do a video. So this is one I melted, but I didn't get a chance to review just because of, of you know, the nature of what happened. So this, if you do not like banana, do not try this blend because it's very banana heavy. I like the creaminess of the banana nutmeg bread pudding. That is a Bath and Body Works blend from years ago, and the oil exists. I've used this in several of my customs in the past. It's a really good one. In fact, I'm going downstairs in my storage area and bringing some stuff upstairs and switching around, and my banana nutmeg bread pudding custom is down there, so I'm gonna bring it upstairs. Um, this is creamy banana, and I know Banana is tough in wax, but her Bananas Foster oil, which I have in a Trig Tart in this order, Jen offered a lot of new oils in her Trig Tarts for this pre-order. So if there's still some stock left on her site, I know she's selling out left and right now, which was to be expected. Um, and there's something on there that you haven't tried, grab it now because who knows when it's going to come back, if it'll come back. Don't really know how much quantity she has of some of these oils. So if you see something and you can afford it, try it now if you can. Um, and, you know, going on in the for future too, you know, don't go at, don't go in debt trying to buy wax. It's not, it's not worth it in the long run. I mean, I know the FOMO sits in and all those things, but I like that Jen offers these trig tarts. Either these are three dollars and thirty cents. This gives you an opportunity to blend. This gives an opportunity to really see how does this oil work in your home. You might not like it by itself. You might only like it in a blend, like me and strawberry pound cake. I just, I really, I'm a really big lover, and I'm a really big advocate for these trig tarts, just because. They are 99% single oils, and it gives you a chance to try without breaking the bank. So, Slay Queen, it is a, a good, authentic banana. This is not banana candy. It's not fake banana to my nose. It's very creamy, very rich, but you have to like banana. So, that is my banana baby. And let's go ahead and we'll do the, uh, we'll do the Trig Tarts next. That's all the... Um, two pack uh, fluted tarts that I got. I got several trig tarts. Which I do like to blend myself on my in my side. Okay. Sweet lavender and herbal lavender. Got them both. So we'll do the sweet one first. This one I'm trying to think of a blend that has this in it to kind of tell you this it's tough because when lavender's blended if it just says lavender on the label we really don't know is she using her sweet is she using her herbal is she using a blend I don't really know but this has I mean no matter what you do lavender is going to be your basis I mean lavender lavender is just going to have that lavender quality to it that relaxing um I don't want to call it grassy, but it has that herbal aspect to it that millions of us love. So this has just, 
it's a little bit a little bit sweeter to the nose it's not sugary sweet of course it's not bakery sweet it's not fattening smelling it's it's not even not fruity sugar smelling it's just sweeter lavender whereas the herbal lavender in this form here this one is more to my nose this is more equivalent to what it would smell like in the essential oil form if you are a person that diffuses oils in your home or uses oils on pressure points or for headaches or whatever whatever there's there's a thousand different oils out there this is to my nose and in my opinion this is more like the essential oil so this one can be used in more of your fresher blends or in more of your spa-like blends. But actually, honestly, if you like lavender, there's only a little bit of difference between these two. The sweet is just a touch sweeter to the nose than the herbal is. And I like them both. So that's the best description I can give for the lavenders. I love those though. This next one is Bananas Foster. Briefly talked about this one. This, this Bananas Foster. Bananas Foster, of course, is a dessert. Bananas, I think, um, no, I'm thinking Bananas Flambe. Never mind. Bananas Foster, it's kind, kind of similar to my mind. This has a little bit of a caramelized sugar smell to it with the banana. So I'm thinking of Bananas Flambe. Uh, where the bananas are lit on fire when they're soaked in rum and cooked in rum so that that sugar just caramelizes. I'm kind of getting that vibe from this. This is a delicious, yummy, creamy, authentic fruit banana. Not a, not a sugar banana milk, not runts, if they even make runts anymore, the candy. Not the artificial banana, not banana milk, not none of those things. This is creamy and rich. Sometimes banana nut bread oil can be a little bit too astringent in the banana um, artificial. I heard something. Poppy probably knocked something over. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, where was I going? Um, a banana nut bread oil can be a little bit too artificial sometimes, depending on the oil. Not all oil manufacturers are the same. And Jen's banana nut bread oil is really good. I love it. But sometimes it can be a little bit too banana, if that makes sense to you. I, ho I hope that you guys that have tried banana and you know what I'm talking about. That's why banana is one of those tough oils to, to translate over uh, to the authentic banana. But Bananas Foster is a damn good banana oil. This is a really good one. So if you're looking for a banana blend, this would go perfect with just about anything. So Bananas Foster. Next we have Cafe Cubano. So typically, and Spiced Oat Milk. Typically these two are in a blend. Cafe Cubano Spiced Oat Milk. But they are single oils. They're not, they're not, it's, they're two single oils. So I love that she separated these because you can really see, hey, what does the Cafe Cubano smell like? And hey, what does the spiced oat milk smell like? I, of course, am in love with the blend. I need to stock up on it because uh, it's so good. So Cafe Cubano, Cuban coffee is coffee and brown sugar. That is what Cuban coffee is. So if you smell this, this is not, it's not skunky. It is not bitter. Sometimes espresso oils can be bitter or skunky. I don't particularly pick up on that, but I do know several of you out there that do. So the espresso is just, you have to think about, it's a, it's a richer bean. It's roasted in a, a different way than a regular coffee bean is. It's grown differently. So it's going to have a little bit of a more bitter translation in your wax. So this is a, this is a very relatively mild not, I wouldn't even call this a dark roast coffee, wouldn't even call it a medium roast. This is a light roast coffee to my nose. And you have just a little bit of sweetness. It's, it, it wouldn't, I wouldn't even say it's white sugar. It's not white sugar. It's brown sugar. Because if you've smelled the brown sugar oil, it has a little bit, I mean, if you've had brown sugar, it's, it's sugar or molasses. It's got a little bit of something to it. You can pick up on that in this Cafe Cubano. At least, at least I can. And I know now, this is the first time I'm smelling these separately. We'll do the spiced oat milk now. The 
Spiced oat milk is creamy. It's not spicy. It's got a little bit of something to it. Probably a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon, but not spicy at all. It's just lightly sprinkled on top, kind of like you would have on top of a cappuccino or something, just a light sprinkle on top. These two married together is the jackpot, though. This is a fantastic, phenomenal blend. Love these. Can't get enough. So that's those two. And this next one I've had a thousand times. This is amaretto. It's always good to have amaretto on hand. I love am amaretto. Love almond. This is strong and can be blended with just about anything. That's amaretto. Next we have plain peppermint. I really like Jen's peppermint oil. It is authentic. It's strong. It, it kind of smells creamy but not sweet creamy, not vanilla peppermint, not like a candy cane where it's sweetened up. This is nice. This is beautiful mixed with lavender, peppermint and lavender and chamomile. That's winter snooze, which is such a, such a good blend of gems. This last one here, not last one, the second to last one I want to talk about here is dirt. Dirt. I love this. I love this. I love the smell of dirt, though. I know most of you are going, oh, Ashley, dirt. But if you watch me and you've watched me over my last 300 videos, I am not afraid of the earthy blends. I'm not afraid of the dirt. I'm not afraid to mix hay and dirt and apples and all sorts of stuff. It's so, it's, it's so good. It gives a little bit of, it's literally earthiness. It's, it's the soil. I, I happen to love the smell of potting soil. I can't wait till... I can do flowers this year. I didn't, I didn't do flowers last year. I, I, I do flowers every other year here. In Utah, it's tough, depending on something floating in the air. Depending on what type of summer we're having, we had a late winter last year and a long winter, and the flower season was late a little bit, and I didn't purchase any flowers from the stores, so I didn't have flowers last year. But this year, I'm hoping that I can at least get my geraniums. I love geraniums. It's my favorite. They are pretty indestructible for the most part. Um, I used to do petunias, but petunias are just, you got to keep after them every single day, and sometimes, you know, I didn't really keep up with them as much as I should, and you have to water them meticulously here, and just, you know, living in, living in the high desert where we are, it's very, very, very dry here, but I do love getting my hands in potting soil and just smelling that freshness, and that's why I like grass. Fresh cut grass and dirt would be fantastic together, <laughs> in my opinion. I love it. So if you love dirt, I'm talking right to you. This is a really good one. Grab a trig tart of this if it's offered again and just really see what Jen's dirt oil is about. And then finally, this is Bobby Beach. This is Bobby Brown's Perfume Beach. This is very beach like, very sunscreen, very summer, very strong. Very strong. Only need literally one of these, and that'll be enough for you to get a kick, kick in your home from it. Okay, let's go into the Bitty Betty Loaves. Bitty Betty Loaves, always a fan favorite. I love Bitty Betty Loaves. I've got a lot, but I also, I chop a lot. I melt a lot of wax, so it's time to get, it's time to do another chop and chat too. This first one is Cafe Cubano Amaretto Sweet Cream and Waffle Cone. This is a really good blend. I have a similar configuration of this. It's amaretto and spiced oat milk, sweet cream foam, and something else, I think. Uh, so this is, this is pretty much just a nice, slight coffee. It's, it's really not too bad because it's only got, it's only got Cafe Cubano in it. So it's not as strong as coffee bean. It's definitely not coffee house. Coffee house has a chocolate creamy undertone to it. I don't particularly care for coffee house because I'm not really a fan of chocolate coffee. If I'm going to have chocolate coffee, I do a peppermint mocha, but I'm not a chocolate fan in wax other than Jen's brown, uh, <laughs> brownie batter oil. That's my favorite chocolate oil. So this is just light amaretto. Very, this is a very creamy blend. So if you like creamy, sweet cream is such a good oil. It's sweet and condensed milk. So just think about that in real life and how much, you know, deliciousness that brings to, to whatever dish you're using it in. Uh, this is creamy to me and I really, really like this one. 
I have another coffee one in here. Might as well talk about them both together. This is one of Jen's most popular blends in the coffee world, and I've had this many times. This is sea salt caramel coffee bean. Now, coffee bean is my favorite coffee oil that she that she offers. It's just black coffee, straight black coffee, freshly brewed. Open up a can of coffee and smell that, and I love the smell of coffee. This is just like that. Blend it with her sea salt caramel, which is such a fantastic oil. It's one of my favorite caramel oils out there in the industry, and it's on my customs list with <laughs> several of them. So this is so good. It's If you like caramel macchiato coffee, which millions of us do, it's just like that. It is so good. Oh, I love this. I, I very well might just put this blend on my customs list because you can never have enough of that. Okay, I got a couple of the resort blends and the mini loaves, and I did get two that are not. This first one is Cookie Cottage. This is one from the advent calendar, the Christmas advent calendar. Uh, this one is Sugar Cookie Royale, Danish Butter Cookies, Sugared Shortbread, vanilla wafers, vanilla cookies, and sweet bakery dough. So I think Jen must have taken a lot of her vanilla cookie blends and put them all together and called it Cookie Cottage with a little bit of sweet bakery dough to bind it all together. So that's my opinion. This is Bakery Max. It's creamy. It's very similar to sugar cakes. If you've ever had sugar cakes, that was Jen's new blend that she made last spring last summer i think uh, somebody asked her to make a new bakery blend a good blender she has several she has um white elephant exchange uh, fat bottom girls she has cookies with the clauses even mrs claus cookies is just a simple a simple oil um there's one more i'm forgetting um don't cross streams is my favorite one and sugar cakes is her newest one Take any of those ones and you, they're, they're basically, they're very similar. Some are stronger than the other one. For example, Don't Cross Streams is my favorite and White, um, White Elephant Exchange is mild, mild, milder to me, excuse me, than uh, Don't Cross Streams and uh, Fat Bottom Girls is even less mild to me uh, in terms of how strong your vanilla, your vanilla bakery blend is. So this one if I had to compare it to one, it's probably a cross between sugar cakes and white elephant exchange. It's not as creamy and rich as, well, actually, you know, got to inhale very deeply. This is creamy and rich. I take that back. It's more similar. I was going to say it's in between sugar cakes and white elephant exchange, but it's really closer to that richness and that, that batter like quality that sugar cakes has, but it's got, a little bit of the powdered sugar sweetness to it, to my nose, uh, that's from the White Elephant Exchange. But the, that the, the sweet bakery dough in here, if you ever smell that alone, it's got a nice, it's got a nice richness, almost a little bit saltiness to it. I'm getting that in Cookie Cottage. This is a really good blender, too. A standalone and good blender. Okay, next, these are, this next one here is Lord, Lord of the Mer People. This is a new blend. When I looked at these descriptions, I thought, oh, that's similar to um, Mermaid Munchies, uh, Sea Salt Prince, Sea Salt Mermaid, Sweet Sea Salt Princess, um, that Sea Salt, Saltwater, Saltwater Princess, excuse me. Saltwater Princess, I believe, is a single oil. So Saltwater Princess and Mermaid Munchies, those aquatic fresh blends, Aquaman, Aquaman's another great aquatic blend, perfect for this time of year as we segue from winter into spring and then spring into summer, all that fun stuff coming up. Lord of the Mer people. This is Ocean Mist, Agave Nectar, Sea Breezes, Coconut Milk, Seagrass, Citrus, Vetiver, and a hint of Patchouli, Sandalwood, Ocean Spray. I wonder if this is a, a single oil or if this is a blend that Jen came up with. But if you like any, any of those blends I talked about, so, sea, Saltwater Princess, Saltwater, um, Remember all these guys, it's tough. Saltwater Princess, Sea Salt Munchies, Aquaman. If you like any of those, you'll like this one. It has that freshness. It's it's almost like the little sister of um, 
uh, salty salty sea air but not as crisp and strong in the salt department it's a little creamier i'd like this i should have got more of this in the restock yesterday but i didn't that's okay that's a good one like that one a lot okay these last three are resort dupes now this first one is east village speakeasy let me see if the let's see if it's on here what the resort is that this is the dupe from, the, the, the scent from. Uh, is it going to be on here? No, it's not on here. Okay. East Village Speakeasy. Pink pepper, rum, vanilla, smoky tobacco leaf, neroli, and a hint of leather. Don't remember what this one is from, but this is all up my alley. Pink pepper and tobacco and smoky and all that stuff. This is, this is nice. Now, if you have, I'm going to talk about another vendor right now. If you have been shopping with Sassy Girl Aroma at any time in the last couple of years, you know that she has a lot of resort dupes from around the world. A lot. And if you've purchased a lot of them, you might have had this one. I don't remember what resort this is to tell you if, if it's been available from another vendor or not. The only reason I'm saying that is because... Julie dipped her toe into the resort blends a couple of years ago and has been offering them since, you know, from then until, you know, when her, her business went down last week. So I'm just trying to say that. So you might have smelled some of these before when you get them. If you haven't, you know, haven't smelled yours yet, you might say, hey, I've smelled this somewhere before. These oils are very similar in quality to the oils that I have purchased from Sassy Girl Aroma. Just to give you an, just to, you know, give you a, a comparison. So this i love this i wish i remembered what resort this was from i'm getting creamy leather sometimes leather can be too sharp i'm not a fan of straight leather i'm not a fan of heavy leather blends but mix it with that tobacco this is like a sexy cowboy but it's not cologne it's got more of an earthiness to it more of a dark leather creamy richness to it kind of similar to how if you smelled angel share or angel's touch how it has that little bit of richness and that boldness to it that's what i'm getting that's what i'm getting from here once again another thing is these resort blends are very hard to describe to somebody it's kind of like coca-cola you have to taste it to kind of know i mean there's 27 30 different Maybe, maybe not many, that many, but uh, Dr. Pepper, we'll use Dr. Pepper, has, what, 27 different oils in it. You can't possibly describe what it smells like or tastes like to somebody. You just have to do it. So I'm trying my best with these ones. This next one is the Flamingo, the Flamingo from Vegas. Uh, my husband is taking me to Vegas for my birthday in June. I'm turning 40, so we're going to spend a few days, three days in Vegas, and um Got some fun stuff planned and Flamingo is a resort. It's been around. It's one of the original resorts and Donnie and Marie used to have their residency there. I think they've retired or maybe Donnie still does it. I don't know. I've never seen them. They're not my cup of tea, but Flamingo is Pink Pool Oasis. This is a delicious, fantastic blend. Definitely one that Sassy Girl Aroma has. This one Oh, this is so good. Inspired by the signature scent of the Flamingo Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. This is white cashmere, cloudberry, heliotrope, violet leaf, tobacco flower, smoked vanilla, and ebony wood. Now keep in mind, if you're new to resort scents, or you've never been to Vegas to walk into the casino and have the scent just hit you. You have to remember these scents are going to be super complex because they've got to have some sort of concoction to keep their resorts smelling good because you have a massive amount of people in there and everybody we smell as humans. You got to keep it fresh and keep it peaceful and keep it Mm, what am I smelling in the air kind of a thing to keep you sitting there to keep you coming back. So this is a sweeter smelling it has a it has a um relaxing vibe to it because it has cashmere it has violet leaf i wouldn't call it floral it's another very difficult one to describe but this is absolutely delicious 
it's soft, almost powdery like. It's good though. And this is a true, true, true what the what the flamingo smells like. I've I've been in the flamingo. And this next one has been getting a lot of attention in the last few days. This is Swan Lagoon. This is the one that is inspired by the Weston. This is another one that Sassigil Aroma has. This is East and West, or West and East, whatever she calls it. West and East. If you've had that one, that's what this one is. This is inspired by the scent of Weston Properties. Freshly brewed white tea, cedar, and Tahitian vanilla beans. Simple, but God, is this good. This, you have to like white tea. You have to have uh, you know, just you have to go into this with an open mind, really, too. If you've never smelled white tea, Bath and Body Works had white tea and ginger out years ago. And it came out of the vault a couple of years ago in the semi-annual cell. White tea is a distinct smelling tea. It's it's very, it's not, it's not like our everyday tea. It's not black tea. It's not orange cut tea. It's not, it's not nothing like that. It's, it's a, it's a different, it's a different different. I don't really quite know how to articulate this. Um, cedar is one of my favorite woods. It has a very, very distinct cedar quality to it, and it has the rich vanilla bean to it. So this is tea with cedar and vanilla. And if you like this, it's fresh, but not aquatic, not salty fresh, nothing like that. This is addictive smelling. Danny was right. It's addictive smelling. So that's those. Now let's get into the scoops and then we will do the um, samples and this video will be a wrap. So each order that you get with a scoop comes with a spoonula or a scoopula, whatever you want to call it. I have a ton of these because you know I've been buying scoops. Okay, this first one, I am going to do the one that I got duplicates of. This uh, first one I had to buy multiple of because... It's not something that's poured a lot, and I had to get it when it's available. This is Tomato Cucumber Garden Mint. I got this blend eight months ago or so, maybe, maybe longer, maybe less. I don't remember. I got it in Scoop, I think last summer. And I saw it on one of her ready to ship lists and I said, damn, tomato, cucumber, garden mint. What? That's, that is me. I love, I love those garden smells. I love the smell of a tomato leaf. Tomato leaf oil is out there. It might even be this. I'm not sure. This is a, this is a, a beautiful tomato smell. If you're like me and you like those garden smells or when you're making soups and you love chopping your vegetables or you're using, if you juice and you, you're juicing vegetables and you like that rich smell or I even hesitant to say V8 juice because sometimes canned tomato juice and vegetable juice to me is metallic and I don't care for it. I'm talking more about the fresh right out of the garden. To me, there's a few fine, simple, just as close to heaven as we can get in terms of food and life. Those are freshly grown right out of the garden cucumbers, right out of the garden tomatoes, and freshly picked right off of the tree peaches. To me, that is just our creator's little kiss of heaven. I love standing over the sink eating a peach with the juice dripping down my hand at the end of August, and there's nothing like a tomato sandwich in the middle of summer, the end of summer, July, when tomatoes start coming, on toast with salt and pepper with a little bit of mayonnaise. There's nothing better in this world to me than that time of year in terms of food. So tomato, cucumber, garden mint. First of all, look at this gorgeous color. I mean, is that a tomato red? That is a gorgeous tomato red. This tomato is a fruit after all. We have, we have to remind ourselves that at the end of the day. So that's why a good tomato has a nice fleshy sweetness to it, but you can also make it very savory very quickly. To me, the way that this translates in oil is you have a really super ripe tomato. Like it has, it's almost to the point where it's getting a little gooey inside, but it's really ripe. It's really sweet as it's good as it's going to get. You have a little bit of cucumber. A lot of us have had cucumber already in wax. Cucumber melon, mm, it's too melon to describe that. Um, you might have had cucumber at the spa or in, any, in a face mask, that fresh, creamy cucumber scent. You get this in here. I'm not getting too much garden mint, but 
there's a little, little bit maybe of a spearmint or um, what other type of mint would be in the, in the garden uh, that I'm trying to think of. I can't remember right now, but it's mostly creamy, rich tomato with a little bit of cucumber. And to me, I got three of these and I got more from yesterday. I absolutely love this. If when I saw this on the pre-order, pre I about screamed because I thought, oh my God, I've got to get that. So yes, my tomato scent. I love it. Love it. Love it. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but if you like it, grab it when you can. Okay. This next one, I got two of this next one here. This is almond croissant cream cheese frosting. Now I love almond. I love croissants, cream cheese frosting. This is on the lighter side. It's not a heavy pow in your face almond or pow in your face amaretto. It's creamy. It's rich. This would be a fantastic blender. If you have a blend that's a little bit, you need to cream it, cream it up a little bit, put a little bit of this in it if you have it. If it's not strong enough, for you on on warm which to me um i there's another vendor that has a similar blend to this and it's a little bit too light to me on throw in my home so i always add it to a little bit of something that's richer um, this could blend with other bakeries you could even put this with fruit i would put this with fruit this is it has the croissant quality to it the flakiness of that and a little bit of that richness of the cream cheese frosting so this is good. I'm glad I got two of these because this is a great blender. So there's that. And these next uh, final ones are just single ones I got. This is Amaretto Spiced Oat Milk and Sweet Cream Foam. This is the other one I was telling you about. I have had, I have this in cloud cakes right now. I chopped this up in my last um, chop and chat from February. I think I did one in February. Yeah. Um, I'm almost finished <laughs> with those three cloud cakes that I chopped up. So I grabbed another one of these. Because I thought, you know, I know what spiced oat milk smells like for the most part. And sweet cream foam, it doesn't really have much of a scent. And then amaretto with this is just creamy amaretto. Amaretto is pretty strong on its own. And it does overtake a blend very easily if you don't blend it beautifully. And Jen and Trish have mastered blending amaretto. So don't worry about this being too strong. And if it is too strong, you know, just blend it with something creamier. If you have a sugar cookie royale or a sugar cookie or a vanilla ice cream or anything that is just a creamy blend, put it in here and make it creamier. That's just my, my tip, my suggestion that I've learned over the last few years. This next one is one of Jen's OG blends and one that is always going to be in my life until I can't have it anymore. This is Ant's Jam Filled Jelly Rolls. This is strawberry jam, whipped cream, excuse me, strawberry jam, whipped cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla pound cake. So this is creamy. This is strawberry jam. So you have to like strawberry jam. I know some of you out there don't really care for the strawberry jam. You're more a fresh picked strawberry or a strawberry. This is that, that sticky sweet jam quality that the strawberry uh, jam oil has blended with rich, heavy, dense pound cake with a little bit of powdered sugar. I don't get too much cream cheese from this, but it's there because it's just extra creamy. This is a creamy strawberry blend, but one of her, one of her best sellers. Next one here is coffee bean. Give me all the carbs. Gimme All the Carbs was a customer creation contest winner last spring. Uh, the person who created its name is escaping me. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's a damn good blend. Gimme All the Carbs. This is fresh baked bread, zucchini bread, cinnamon sugar, and pretzel. That's Gimme All the Carbs blended with coffee bean. So coffee bean, my favorite coffee oil. We talked about that. To me, I'm getting a little bit of the cinnamon sugar, a little bit of the zucchini bread, with a really good cup of coffee. That's what I'm getting with this. I love this. I ordered another one of that. I, I love that blend. Very strong too. And this last one's a simple blend, but it's good to have around for those days when you just need a, need a hit of zucchini bread. This is Cookies with the Clauses zucchini bread. Cookies with the Clauses is one of Jen's vanilla blends or vanilla blenders, however you want to look at it. It's Sanazon Keto, which is its own blend. It's uh, 
I don't remember what's in Santa's on keto. And then you have Mrs. Claus's cookies, which is just a simple vanilla cookie oil. It's a single oil. And then you have sugar milk, which is that sweet, sticky, sugary milk after a bowl of cereal. Not fruity, just sweet. Sometimes sugar milk can be sour to some people, but don't worry. There's plenty of vanilla cookie creaminess and zucchini bread in here to counteract any sort of sourness that one might get from, sh from sugar milk. So this is the integrity of Jen's superb, one of the best out there zucchini bread oils. It's a little bit creamy, a little bit sweet, spicy. It's perfect. I love it. I cannot get enough of the zucchini bread. Then you blend it with that wonderful, creamy, rich vanilla cake cookie, and you get cookies with the Claws's zucchini bread. So that's this one. And let's do our samples. And then this video is a wrap. Under an hour. I'm glad I could do that. So let's see here. We have chocolate marshmallow. That's a new one to me. Let's see. You know, I'm not a chocolate wax person, except for brownie batter. But this one, I'll melt this. It has a really good, it's, it's not artificial. You know, chocolate wax is so hard to get right, in my opinion. It's just, it's tough. You know, it's just not realistic smelling. This is good. It's kind of similar when you're making a cake and you're just, you're, a bo we'll say box cake, and you're mixing it together and that, that chocolate batter just, just starts to waft up in your nose. It's kind of what this smells like, but you get a sticky, qu sticky quality of that marshmallow fluff. If you open up a jar of marshmallow fluff and it just has that sweet smell to it, that's kind of what this is to me. Paradise City, this one. I don't know if this is a new resort blend. It might be. I'm not even going to attempt to describe that. And putting on the Ritz. Sorry, I didn't show you this one here. Handwritten label. Sometimes they have to do that if they don't have... Um, enough where they only poured a handful. This one, I can't describe that one. I am bad unless it's absolutely obvious in terms of picking out scents, but um, each order gets a little bit of candy in it. She's been going and giving us Chupa Chups lately. I haven't had a Chupa Chup in a while. I've gotten apple and strawberry and a couple of other ones. For a while it was Laffy Taffy, now we're in Chupa Chups. Um, actually, Poppy takes these, my cat, takes these and hides them. So that's why I haven't had a Chupa Chup because the cat's got to it before me. So, <laughs> okay. Um, I did everything. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not done yet. We're going to be at an hour. I forgot my resort sampler. Oh, I apologize for that. I always do my, I always do my samples last. I'm sorry about that. Got to get into these guys. Boy, now these are going to be tough, but I'll do the best I can. I always do the best I can. These are just challenging because of the nature of these, uh, the, the nature of these scents here. This is knotted up at the top. I'm going to try to get this out of here. Oh boy. Come on. I made tell you a story when I'm trying to get this knot on done. I made meatloaf last night. I Love meat. I love meatloaf. I grew up with meatloaf. I grew up with meat and potatoes, stuffed peppers, stuffed cabbage, halushki. I grew up with all that stuff. And in my life, I love to make meatloaf. And I'm, I make a good meatloaf. I do. Even my husband will say that. I texted a picture to my dad last night. My dad lives in Pennsylvania. And he will be 79 in August. And I sent him a picture and I said, it's meatloaf night, dad. And, and he said, you know, you are such a good cook, Ashley. Marty is, he, Marty is lucky to have you. And I just thought, you know, uh, in therapy, if you watch my channel and you listen to some of the things I say, you know, I'm, I'm a really big mental health advocate. I'm a mental health patient. I have been for most of my life and I go to therapy and I'm doing a particular type of therapy called EMDR therapy. And at the beginning of it, before you start 
doing it. I'm not going to go into in, into what it is and that stuff. Um, there's a really big knot in this. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, you have to identify your a, a, a virtual container where you can put all of your all of your negative feelings and all of the sad feelings and everything that you're trying to work through. And then another part of it, you have to pick your safe space. And uh, some people share their safe space, some people don't, but you know, each person's journey is different. So yours is gonna be different than mine. I picked my kitchen. My kitchen is my safe space. So I am trying really hard to get this bag open. I should have just taken my chupa chup and put a hole through this bag like I'm trying to do here. So my kitchen, my kitchen is my safe space. My kitchen is the place where I feel the love of the women in my family. And I've spent a lot of time in my life in my kitchen. I ripped it open guys. <laughs> uh, and my meatloaf is my Aunt Marilyn's recipe. She passed last year. You know, I've talked about it here and there. And last night I had a beautiful experience making meatloaf in my kitchen in my happy space. So that's my little story when I <laughs> was uh, trying to rip open this bag. Okay, back to the wax, guys. Okay, Zen vibes. Just a, ju just, just a disclosure, full disclosure. I haven't smelled these. These are tough to describe, but I'm going to do the best I can. This is inspired by the scent of the Vidara Hotel and Spa. That's also in Vegas. This is dewy green stems, sweet basil, and wild jasmine. Infuse the air alongside mission figs, bergamot, and Asian pears. Rounding out the scent are whole cloves, Indian sandalwood, and Chinese white pine. A lot. Jasmine. It's the first thing that sticks out to me here. And sweet basil. Those are the first things that were described. Sweet basil. Um, if you've ever had uh, Thai food, drunken noodles particularly that, I, that I'm thinking of, they use a, type, a particular type of Thai basil. It's a sweeter basil. That's what I'm getting from this. Not Thai food, but just the, the basil aspect of it. How it's sweet, a little aromatic, and the jasmine. Um, there's a lot of other stuff going on in here. Indian sandalwood I've smelled a few times. It's, it, it has a little bit of distinctness to it. This is, it's very zen. This is a good this is a good name for it zen vibes it's clean it's green clean and green with a little bit of jasmine we'll stick with that okay next one penthouse passion this is inspired by the luxor hotel luxor that's where we stay one because it's close to the mandalay bay in vegas they're they are their resorts are connected and uh, my husband likes Mandalay Bay's sports book. So we usually stay in one of those two places. It's down at the far end of the strip close to the airport. So if you've ever been to Luxor, bamboo, fresh bergamot, and cucumber mingle with Turkish rose, Turkish rose water, lily, and wild jasmine above warm bamboo woods and balsam. <clears throat> Luxor has a beautiful fragrance. It is... That's it too. Um, it, it it's very bamboo is a really good oil. Bamboo is fresh. It's crisp. It's clean. It's it just it's it's man. These these are tough to describe. It's just it's clean. It it has a not as much of a spa-like quality as Zen Vibes does. This is more of a floral and more of a cucumber and more of a of an herbaceous. This is more Man, it's hard to, tough to describe. It's different. I'm not gonna try, I'm not gonna try to butcher that. It's just it's nice. It is nice. It's quality. It's sophisticated. I'm trying to think which one of these of all of the oils that are in here just sticks out to me. And they're just blended so 
meticulously well in this oil. It's tough to really tell you which one sticks out to me. This next one is New York Nights. This is inspired by the scent of the Delano Hotel in Vegas. Exotic black tea leaves and toasted fig capture your attention, followed by freshly ground nutmeg and neroli before ending on a perfect blend of sheer evening vanilla and tonka bean. This is New York Nights. This one. That's nice. The thing that sticks out to me in this is black tea. Definitely. So if you're a tea lover, a tea blend lover, or you're dipping your toe into tea blends, this is really one. Yes. And I'm getting nutmeg. Definitely fresh nutmeg. That creaminess of tonka bean. A little bit of musk. This is nice. This is nice. Delano is part of the Mandalay Bay, I think. It's in the back. H2O, H2O. <laughs> this is inspired by the Disney Resorts Bath and Body Line. A magical blend of sea fennel and uh, baobab sea oil, perfectly matched with young peppermint and salted air. I haven't been to Disney World since I was 17, so quite a while. Marty and I are going to go in the next couple of years. I told him. We're not going to Disneyland. We're going to Disney World. So, uh, there's other vendors that have this oil. And it smells just like the other ones. This this is good. It's it's It has creamy, cooling effect of peppermint. But it's not anywhere near the strength of the peppermint that's in this. This is really wham, bam, cool, calming sensation open up your sinuses. Young peppermint, I guess. It's it's not, not as cooling and soothing. This is, it is aquatic. Sea fennel. A little bit of fern. A little bit of salt. It's very relaxing, very spa-like, very, very salt water-ish. I, I, I really like that one. Next one is Oasis. This is, I've had this one before from another vendor. This is inspired by Resorts World. Um, resort, resorts, resorts World. That's the new huge resort. It's actually three, three resorts within one resort. Resorts World. Um, I think Carrie Underwood has her... I've been looking at this stuff. Carrie Underwood has her residency there. Uh, she's not there when I'm going to be there, though. So this is... Uh, Inspired by Resorts World Mojave Ghosts Bath and Body Products. Caribbean Sapodilla and Ambrette take the lead, followed by Evening Violet and Warm Sandalwood before ending this journey with Pacific Toasted Cedar. This one is complicated. I'm going to tell you right off the bat. But God, is this good. This, I, am a, <laughs> I almost said GD. But this is... Oh, I, I, I love this one, guys. I could bathe in this. This Oasis is, oh, it's so good. This, I'm not quite sure what, so, what Sapodilla and Ambrette smell like alone, but it's got a, it's got a sexy sandalwood feeling, but sometimes sandalwood can be too much. It can be too strong in my opinion. This is an extremely creamy sandalwood with everything else that's described, I get a little touch of cedar. I get a little bit of violet. This smells like a million dollars. This is so good. I'm going to go to Resorts World and I'm going to see if I can smell this. This, oh, is that good? Oh, I love this one. Oasis. Oh, so creamy. I've had that one before from another vendor. Vanilla Cosmos. This is inspired by the scent of Cosmopolitan Hotel in Las Vegas. Mandarin rind and crimson rhubarb intertwined with sheer flowers and wrapped in a sultry base of smoked vanilla bean, cedarwood, warm patchouli, and vanilla musk. Cosmopolitan has a multi... Well, it has, excuse me, I dropped that out of my hand. It has a bar, but it has a multiple story chandelier that's all down around it. It's very sophisticated, very bougie. 
Very apropos, though, because that's, that's the cosmopolitan. You walk in, it's kind of like you're transported back into the into the flapper girl days of the 20s, at least in my opinion. But it's very tasteful. I mean, it's, it's modern, in modern 1920s. There's diamonds and rhinestones and all sorts of things in the cosmopolitan. This is a lighter smelling one. Um, I would say the thing that sticks out to me in this mostly is the uh, vanilla bean cedar wood patchouli situation. This is good. This is nice to me right now. It, it's 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 pretty light. I mean, I'm going to let these cure longer. But this is good in a small space where you just want a little bit of freshness in the air. This is not as strong as a lot of these resorts blends are very strong. So just if you're new to the resort blends, just letting you know if you're you can really get a small piece out of these and it can last for a long time because it's they're just so concentrated and you just think about how the complex how complex these have to be to scent the air that's in these huge massive massive casinos so vanilla cosmos two more left and then i promise we're done visions in the desert inspired by the mirage resort lobby scent Okay, Mirage. The Mirage was sold to Hard Rock, and they're going, it's, it's, I think in 2025, the Mirage is still the Mirage, but the Mirage is not owned by MGM. So when I go in June, I'm going to go to the Mirage, and I want to see if they still have this smell in there. The Mirage has two smells. There's the main lobby smell, which is this one, and then there's the casino smell. This one is also offered from another vendor that, that uh, had it in the past. This one is summer warmth and golden tan can be found with this tropical blend of fresh coconut and caramelized banana, filling the air above the sweet aroma of vanilla cream and tonka bean. Ah, oh, this is so good. This is caramelized banana and coconut and pineapple. This is very creamy rich. If you like pineapple upside down cake, how it kind of caramelizes, this is not bakery by any means, but just how that caramelizes, the pineapple caramelizes, you have that richness and that denseness to it. That's the, that's the caramelization I'm smelling in this blend here. You get banana, you get tropical. This is sexy, sexy. I love this. It is tropical. The Mirage was my favorite resort to stay in because of the smell, believe it or not. I love the smell of the Mirage. And finally, we have Bamboo Dreams. Inspired by the scent of Hilton's hotels on the Hawaiian Islands. Green bamboo forest, crisp bergamot, Fresh lemongrass and green foliage create a cool mist before teak warms up the experience alongside sliced ginger. When my husband and I were in Maui, we stayed, we stayed at the Westin. We stayed somewhere on Kanapali Beach. I don't remember which one it was. I didn't go into the Hilton, so I can't really tell you if this is really how it smells. But if you've ever smelled bamboo, Bamboo is strong, but as I said earlier, it's clean, it's crisp, it's almost a little bit watery, but it's got a really distinct cleanness to it. I'll use that term again. This is green. This is fresh. This is right up my alley. I absolutely love this blend. Bamboo, clean and crisp, fresh, watery, spa-like. I would say it's a cousin of Zen Vibes, if I had to describe it. So, and H2O, H2O, again, is, it's, it's a different, it has a different type of greenness to it, but nonetheless, it's bamboo. Okay, I promise that's the end of this video now. So, I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend and a beautiful week ahead, um, and I look forward to talking to you guys more in the Facebook group on L3, and hope you enjoyed this video if you watched all of it, and have a good evening, and I'll see you soon.